Hey folks, just wanted to give you a quick tour of my greenhouse before I close it up. It is winter time and it gets quite cold pretty quick. Last night it was 22 degrees, I think. So first off, I have some hardy plants, some sedum and some, uh, what is it, oristachys that are actually quite aphid ridden right now, but it doesn't seem to be spreading to any of the other plants, so I've just let it go. This is a cutting of some uh, marubium or lamium or something. Probably not pronouncing it right. Here's some Delasperma, and that's all hardy stuff that I'm just propagating. Uh, Senecio stilpiliformis, I believe. Just got this from North End Organic, cool place. Here's some red Delasperma I'm propagating and a bunch of different thyme that actually I need to water up before I close this place up for the night. Some of them are getting a little dry on me. Um, got some woolly thyme back here, that's some of my favorite. Propagating a lot of that. Some Rosalaria and some more Oristachys that I got as a gift. I'm very excited about these. These guys are doing well, but could probably use a little bit more water as well. Got a couple different varieties that I can't pronounce the name off the top of my head. But pretty stoked about them. Got some more babies growing. They actually got wind blown and all messed up the other day. And that's pretty much it for hardy stuff. Oh, I do have a crested 70s. Uh, Sempervive Marachnoidium variety 70s that's crested. That's pretty cool. Oh, I have some echeverias that I decided to keep through the winter. Some random aloes that I plan to sell. Here are the mother plants. This one here is blooming. Don't know if I'll be able to pollinate it or if it'll self-pollinate. Don't know much about aloe flowers, but it is pretty. Got some of the climbing aloes in the back. Uh, an aloe arborescence with a nice deep tan from being in the full sun. Some... Uh, variegated sages that i'm propagating just really like these guys i have a couple in the garden they're hardy some funky aloes some uh juniper in here that i've been um propagating i thought it'd be fun to do a little bonsai but um we'll see what becomes of this then i have a little uh a couple rosemary i've been trying to do the topiary thing with but no luck so far a couple other rosemary these are like prostrata my dad actually got these from cuttings from uh uh las vegas so they burned off in the first freeze which is kind of to be expected from a variety that's really suited to las vegas but i'm propagating them in here and seeing if they don't do well or not propagating them i'm just growing them from their little stumps but they're doing all right they're coming back got some of the plectranthus tomentosa the vix plant this is i actually bought this for my girlfriend very excited about it it's a super cute plant it's been doing well in the greenhouse Okay, I think that's pretty much it for the top shelf. Yeah, we've got some paintbrushes for pollination. I don't really know what I'm doing with that. I just jab at flowers every once in a while. Down on the bottom, we have some, this is the Senecio corner. I have my Stapilliformis up here, but the rest of my Senecio are all down here. This is like a Radicans. This is the fish hooks variety, I believe. And then I have the bananas variety that's everywhere. I got some in the back. My string of pearls just looks bomber. It's actually about to flower. Got the little bloom heads on it. Can't wait to experiment with that. Just got some dolphins. Just got some. I'm super stoked on these. Hope they don't sunburn because they did look a little bit pale. But they seem to be doing well in the greenhouse so far. This is my Senecio cleniaformis, which I actually hand pollinated but i think that they self pollinate so i probably just beat up the flowers for no reason um i've gotten most of the seed heads off of it and uh these two i'll probably pick today because they're like folding back at the base and they'll pop like little dandelions i also have the senecio citriformis i believe which is the string of raindrops or teardrops or something lots of little propagations to sell and give away Lots of fun. Um, do have one little flower from a uh, Senecio radicans. I really hope to be able to use that one flower, its pollen, to try to hybridize with the Rallianus. Over here, I have my Crisulas. Got a grip of them. Springtime. Supposed to be two different types of muscosa right here, but they look the same to me. I do have one other thick muscosa, which is really cool to see. These are like little props I've gotten from people. These are... Uh, we're like off of leaf cuttings. Don't have an ID on these guys. If anybody has one, please let me know. Got some like Haworthia pumila and whatnot that I uh, um, got as gifts. Some other little Haworthia babes. Um, back at the Crisulas, we have the Tetragona. Um, 
Now, why can't I remember ever remember the names of these guys when I need them? But yeah, the string of string of buttons, the variegates. These ones are mixed up in the wrong pot. They belong in a different pot. They're different. The ogre ears, Chrysula. Yeah, I like my Chrysulas, and they're all blooming right now. I have the little tiny blooms on the uh, Chrysula muscosa, if you can see them. Yeah, there we go. They're beautiful, little tiny, tiny guys. I've been hand pollinating those too, but for all I know, I'm just beating up flowers. Over here, I have all my Haworthias, which I'm really proud of. Really like these guys. Don't have much for variegates, so that's what I want next. The one variegate I have is like this tiger striped variegate, variegate kind. Really enjoy it, but I want to get more of the bigger ones with the more back and forth variegation, the bolder kinds. But yeah, I got a little Cuspidata, the Horthiopsis types, Venosa. Got some weird Chrysulas I don't have an ID for. Got a bunch of props of uh, the little Warty, just tons of them. These guys are really fun. Here's the mother plant over here. Lots of Haworthia props, mostly Simbaformis, Cooperi, giant Cuspidata, like that guy. This is my first Haworthiopsis that I got to live. Got these guys off a of trade not too long ago, really fun. These dudes are cool. I wish I could get their flowers to pollinate, but I just don't know what I'm doing, to be honest. Gasteria bicolors. Yeah, the weird little lace aloes. A little bit of everything. I just got a Buddhist temple the other day. Pretty stoked on that. Yeah, that's about it. That's the greenhouse, folks. This one's pretty cool. Haworthia cuprae variation truncata. Got this from uh, Mountain Crest. We got a lot of these from Mountain Crest. Either that or Home Depot or Trades. So I don't have anything fancy, but I love them all. They're the plants, man. I'm really obsessed with the Senecio. Really been enjoying them. The string of pearls are just whew, something beautiful. Crazy to think this is the Asteraceae family, the daisy family. So this is close, more closely related to the lettuce than it is this Chrysula over here. This is what happens when your lettuce moves to Africa and says, I'm going to be a succulent, man. I'm going to grow in the desert. I don't care what you say. Yep, my baby little greenhouse. Thanks, everybody.